hey guys i hope you're all good so i'm just going to go straight into it i'm going to start off with our crochet braid and pattern which is my usual one i do have a detailed uh, tutorial which i'll leave for you in the description box if you'd like to see that so the braiding pattern is pretty much just all back cornrows medium size with a middle parting and for the parting i always do a crisscross kind of cornrow so that there's a join in the middle which creates um, a more natural look because there won't be a gap so yeah if you do want to see a more detailed version of that please check the description box is the new river curls and the difference in these is that they're very soft yet they still have a thicker texture and most importantly they are super super easy to separate as you can see first time round separating I can even brush my fingers through it so they're super soft and a nice thick natural texture okay so I'm gonna just talk you through what I'm doing I insert my crochet electric needle make sure it's open then I place the strand of hair onto the latch hook I close the latch hook slide it underneath the cornrow and then what I'm going to do is put that loop to the side and then take one strand and then I basically knot it through the loop remember to leave the other strand on the other side because this is what's going to create the knotless look and you will see that once i finish doing all of this you'll see what i mean by the knotless look it will just look like the hair is growing from the scalp so i do this quite a few times again i do have really really detailed tutorials on these things so if you want something more broken down and easy to understand i will leave my videos in the description box for you As you can see i'm just flipping over one side of the hair to the other we have our knotless look which looks like the hair is just growing from the scalp and just creates a more natural finish and as your hair grows and it gets older it looks even more natural because your hair starts to blend with it of the way to install it I always leave about a finger width gap between each installation of the hair it really and truly though depends on how thick you want it the less hair you want the bigger the gaps have to be but you just have to be cautious that at the end you can't see any scalp or any cornrow so just make sure it's full enough to prevent that from happening but at the same time be cautious to not overdo it if you don't want it too full generally though crochet hair is quite big it's, it's a big look but we can cover the gaps as long as you cover the gaps you're good Thank you. 
I'm doing here is making sure there's no gaps at the back where the parting is and to do that I simply just place hair in the join where the crisscross parting was so that it can all flow nicely and there's no gaps at the back. And now it's time to cut and style. So you can pretty much do it however you want. You can leave it as it is. I always like to layer the hair just to give it more shape um, and more style, but it's up to you how you choose to style your hair. I'm doing the hair is I'm actually cutting out some strands because I realized the hair was a bit too full. This hair is for a photo shoot and so we want all the hair to be able to fit into the frame nicely. So what I did is I just went in the middle and just removed it, just a few strands just to create less volume and less bulk. Um, so that's another suggestion if you after you finish doing your hair you feel like well this is a bit much. You can always go in the middle and take out a few strands but just be aware that crochet does reduce in volume quite significantly over a few days so don't take out too much 